We're here today to show you guys the hardest pull in fencing, in my opinion, man. I would agree totally, Keith. It's always difficult. The shorter these runs get, the harder it is to make the pull because if you're using a stretcher bar, traditional uh, tensioning method, you do not have the fence behind it to let that slack spread back out. That's right. The elasticity in that high tensile wire will actually absorb any slack that you have in the fence on a long pull. But right here, we're nine feet, but with a little bit of uh, a little bit of thought, a little bit of patience, we can get, actually get this pretty tight, and then it will match up with the fence that we have, and we don't just shove a, can, a cattle panel in here. That's exactly right. And what we can do here, or what we're going to do, is called a gut strain, and we're going to gut strain with these gripples. That's right. So with the tension or the torque tool and the medium gripples, we can tie on some high tensile smooth wire set that gripple in place and use the torque tool to tension over to it. And uh, we're gonna be fortunate here, we've got the uh, torque tool out here. You can also strip these knots with it, so we've got that tool with us. You can, And right. uh, fewer tools we have to take to the fence line to strip this. Fan, the one thing I do recommend on these is we terminated the far end there using T-clips. Now, if we just use a T-clip on this end here with just the smooth wire, a lot of times it'll turn loose. It's kind of hard to, to deal with. You can do it, but what we did is we uh, tied the high tensile smooth knot in just a little bitty piece of wire where we'll have something to set the gripple. Yes. So to do that, you just simply take the smooth wire. And we have this video on the fencing.beckart.com website but we'll just give a real quick explanation here. Yeah. You simply go over, under, over, 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 and break it off. And you do that by just twisting the wire over. And Ben, I make a little Z pattern right here yeah. because I tie a lot of pipe and pipe's very uniform. So mm -hmm. I can actually put the same bend in every one and just push it up through, pull it through, slide that slack down, bend it over, and then that's where we went over, under, back through. Now we're just gonna go over, 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 break that off. Yep, let me see your tail. One thing to point out, you did put a handle in this too. That I makes did. that tie a lot easier right. if you got a piece of wire to hang on to. And you can control your uh, stack here of those wraps and keep everything up nice and neat. That's right. So actually we've hand tied a few knots here, so we just need one more. So real quick, I'll just uh, tie this on and we'll get started with this strain, Van. All right, Keith, so we're getting ready to make this pull. Uh, a way to strip these knots that we don't talk about, a lot of times we'll do it with our uh, pliers and cutting each line. You right. can also use this torque tool to strip those knots with. Yep. So it's just another method, works really well, and you've got some leverage. So if you've not got a lot of hand strength using pliers, or you just don't want to do it that way, you do have the torque tool to strip these knots. Correct. So let me get over there where you're at, Van, yep. and why don't you come right over here. And right. show us how that works. All right, we'll go ahead and strip some knots here. All right, so you've got two grooves here below where you typically stick your gradient, uh, gripple joiner. Correct. And so what we're going to do is use it to catch this wire. There like you go, so. you're catching the stay wire. Yep. And catch. then just pushing that knot out of the yep. way. Yep, and then you'll just slide the knot right over. Very cool. So. Okay, just uh, work your way down. And it does work a little better with two people. We've actually yep. tried to to do this with one, but it is a quick method. 
um, you usually have to take your pliers, go in and snip that knot out. Very nice. Man, that's not too bad. It's really not. It's uh, really easy, especially if you got that second person, like you were saying, to kind of hold that wire yep. for you. You can just slide them right off. And the, the horse fence and the sheep and goat are definitely the hardest material to stretch. Uh, yeah. You know, 1047, the old hinge joint style, the solid lock styles, they come off pretty easy. So that, that is a lot better. It is. And then too, you've got these closer stays on the no climb. Yep. So it's a lot of work to get enough to go around post. It's not as bad with this pipe, but in the east with the wood, you may have to um, strip three, four, five knots yep. off where with a 12 inch stay, a lot easier to do. So. Gotcha. So now right. we're ready to, uh, to demonstrate this gut strain. Not sure that's I've the name you, of it, right. but that's what we're gonna call yeah. it, right? That's the only thing I've ever heard yeah. of call. So we use these gripple mediums. That's actually gonna be our tensioner and it's gonna be our joiner as well. Yep. The way this works, Van, is uh, this is actually the wire joiner and we're gonna use it for the tensioner as well. We do it a lot on high tensile smooth wire, so I don't see any reason why it won't work here. I don't either. So you simply slide the gripple through, take the top line wire, slide it in, get up to the height we want. Now we're well on our way, Van. Yep. So we'll just continue on down and then we'll put the torque tool in here and we'll tension it. You guys, just real quick, it's real important when doing this to be absolutely sure you're wearing your safety glasses. You definitely don't want one of these long wires to hit you in the eye. And we will come back and we'll trim all this up a little bit later keep the animals safe. There we have it. We'll just kind of line it up here. Pull a little bit of the slack out. And we're about ready to go. We are. So man, we know we've got our height right. We've set yeah. this cross member and uh, we'll just work our way down through here with the torque tool and uh, show the people how to tighten that up. We will and we're gonna also make sure we keep our spacing good here because once you get tension on it, it will not move. No on moving, that pipe, that's right. So. I'll step through and help you just a little bit. It does help to have a partner when yeah. you're working on fence for sure. Oh man, that's tight. Yeah. And actually, Van, you can put so much pressure on this fence with this torque tool, if you have to, you can actually push that other stay out of the way just a little bit while you're tensioning. Yep. As long as you don't get too carried away. I typically don't, don't push more than one stay. Makes a mess, doesn't look good. Yes. That's a good point, Keith. And it's much like stripping with this. You just keep, you just slide keep one over. And... That's correct. Wow. Works very nice. I noticed, Keith, too, some of these knots, which they're designed to slip and get tighter on the post. So yeah, I'm going to hand these pencil. around and I'll let you pull back the gripple back toward the post and okay. help close this gap up. I think people need to realize that that is an option. You can run that gripple both directions. Yep. Then the same process with the tie wire. Set it back against the knot. 
Looks good. This is a real easy method on these short pulls. Man, we would have never got this fence tight with a stretcher bar. Yep. Not a short pull. I actually heard a pop. I think we're set up yep. about 350 pounds here, so we've got quite a strain on this little short stretch. All right, Ben, we've got it all tensioned up and uh, yep. pretty tight, huh? It is nice and nice and tight, but still a little bit of reflection. So if one of these animals do run into the fence, yep. they're going to bounce off and not get injured. Yep. Looks good. Uh, at this point, we'll just uh, trim these tails up, tuck yep. them out of the way, and uh, we'll be done. Looks it's good. Another project finished, uh, Keith, and uh, this worked really well. It's a good alternative right. method on these short pulls to and, uh, get it tight. And I would say probably anywhere inside 75 feet, this could be a good option for you. Yes, that is correct. All right, guys, hope this helped you out. And thanks for choosing Beckart. Check out the fencing.beckart.com page. Hit the Ask the Fence Pro section. Ask me and Van some questions, and we'll catch up with you guys later. Thanks for watching. Remember, Beckart, made in the USA.